Hey everyone, it's Tim Rea here at the Idea Life Digital Health Live Studio at CS 2014. Good to see a good friend, Dr. Samir Damani, founder, CEO, and cardiologist of uh, Genomics and Digital Medicine for MD Revolution. You got it. Did I get all that? You got it. You got well, it. it. Yeah. What I like is you're actually a doctor and an entrepreneur, really changing the game. We had a great demo yesterday on uh, at your booth. Tell me about your background. Yeah, so as you mentioned, I'm, I'm a practicing cardiologist, and uh, about two years ago, I noticed that these digital tools that we have were quite effective at engaging people in their own health. You know, they when you track, it's a whole concept. When, when you can't, we can't measure, you can't manage, right? And so the idea is that these tools allow for measurement, but that data that's being derived from these tools, if it's not being aggregated in a way and then messaged back to the person on what that data means to them and what they can do with the data to make them healthier, then at that point in time, it, it really ceases to do anything valuable for the, for the individual and for society, which is really dealing with a chronic disease epidemic. So MD Revolution has, has built a platform to, to aggregate that data on RevUp. It's called RevUp Health Accelerated, and we released a consumer version where the, the coaching based on the data is actually free for the first six months and you have 5,000 people. And you have like live nurses? We got live nurses and nutritionists and uh, personal trainers and health coaches that take the data, coach you on it. So it's quite a fascinating uh, model and it just kind of creates a feedback loop and an accountability that allows for uh, wellness and prevention to take on a whole nother different um, meaning. So you just come, came off stage with the preventionist policy panel. What was happening inside and who was, who was talking about what? Sure, so it was a really fantastic panel. Uh, the, uh, the actual moderator was Chris Wazen, who's a global inno innovation healthcare leader at uh, PricewaterhouseCooper. Next to me was uh, Dr. Richard Migliori, who is the chief medical officer of United Healthcare. And then next to him was Marco, who is the uh, CEO of Cardio, and who, who's a device maker. Yeah. And so the idea with that is, is that, you know, we've got to start talking about prevention, making it a policy, because prevention is so much less expensive than treating disease. And yeah. so it was, it was nice to see that third party payers are now starting to talk about how they are interested in starting to pay for, for prevention and they're starting to see real value driven from prevention. And so the, the talk was really surrounding, you know, these tools that are out here, you know, is great, but somebody's got to pay for them, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and you got to show that prevention is effective. So the, the one thing was that, you know, we talked about is there is outcomes data now on prevention. And number two, that people are willing to pay for it, both consumers, third party payers and, and employers. What's your goal in like the three to five year plan? We're hitting 2014 right now. What do you see as kind of the next three to five sure. with you and your company? So, so for, so, you know, we have an enterprise solution. We do corporate wellness where, you know, the data aggregated from these mobile health devices comes to a singular platform. We have algorithms or specific equations that drive alerts on the clinical interface side. And those alerts then our, our personal trainers and nurses then take those alerts and email. So for example, if you have a population of 10,000 or 100,000, uh, one of our employers or uh, one of our clients is Sharp. So if we have a population within Sharp that has a lower level of engagement based on data we are seeing from the mobile devices, we can email them, we can strategically plan interventions or challenges to get them more engaged with the platform. And so, so it's, it's a very um, real time, continuous kind of uh, wellness platform as opposed to what before was like an analog where you kind of go from, uh, you know, periods as long as three to five months where you don't hear anything from your wellness provider. So our goal is to really ramp up our, 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 our enterprise platform, but then to also reach out to the consumer and start getting consumers interested in the platform. We'll have mobile apps released later this year too. And so our goal is to get between, you know, 20 and 30,000 people on the platform this year. Great. Sounds like you have a lot of interesting partnerships available here. What types of folks are you trying to meet and what's your ask here at the event? It's, it's really great. I mean, so, you know, Dr. Migliori and I, uh, we, we're already set up to, we're going to set up a call to talk about United Healthcare p potentially doing some sort of pilot. Um, we have Epic that we're working with potentially. We have uh, Partners Healthcare, which is the uh, Harvard Health Systems, uh, where we're trying, thinking about doing studies with them. Uh, so we're looking at partnerships to both validate our model on the clinical outcomes end. We have some initial validation already. We're looking at electronic healthcare vendors that are looking to, to go out to Meaningful Use Criteria 3, which is a patient engagement platform, um, to, to com kind of combine our platform with theirs. And they're also looking at um, uh, uh, the general consumer to start getting on here and start using this platform to see how valuable it can be when you start tracking what you do, getting coaching, and how it can really impact your health. So everybody, please take a look at your website. It's mdrevolution.com and RevUp is our healthcare uh, platform.
Yeah, we're checking it out. You can see the other video. Follow us on YouTube. You can see the playlist from yesterday. Awesome technology, and it's a really customer-friendly centric system. We, we think we're trying to bring design into healthcare, yeah, yeah, something yeah. That, that's lacked uh, in, in, in a broader scale. All right, nice work. Good Thank to see you, you again. It's good to see you again, yeah, Tim. Yeah, cheers. All right. All right, man. It's good to see you.